Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a performing member of Portland Psycho. And today we're going to make two by practice pads. We're going to make a hexagonal one out of two by three material that I have sitting around. And we're going to, I'm going to show you um, a square uh, practice pad out of two by four material. So you're going to want to have a, um, a power tool probably for this. Uh, if you've got a miter saw guide, you can certainly use that. So the first one is the square practice Tyco. So all you need is four pieces of wood, two of them cut to be three inches longer than the others. These are about 12 inches. So once we assemble it, I'm going to probably do this off camera. We're going to just take some nails or if you prefer screws, some screws and just make a square like this. For the hexagonal practice pad, we're going to take uh, this material and you're going to cut it, you can see I've cut the end of this one um, at a 30 degree angle. Uh, two of those joins together will create, this piece that I cut off, will create a 60 degree angle and then we'll be able to make a hexagonal shape. Um, I've never done this before, we'll see how it turns out. Um, the thinking that I have is that by having a bit of an angle, it's easier to practice your paws on it. So, I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to cut six pieces of, I think, nine inches. Um, they'll be beveled on both sides, one going this way, one going this way, uh, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, just so that you can see the setup that I was using, this is set to 30 degrees. I've got these six pieces now um, all lined up as a hexagon, and I've got them held together with a ratchet strap, which I'm going to use uh, just to hold it together as I use a countersink and then put a screw in one from this side and one from here, going through to hold them together. Okay, so we're done with that step. So now what we have is a square frame. I used uh, nails on this one. And we have a hexagonal frame. And I used, like I said, uh, screws on this one, one from each side. Um, I rounded the corners on each of these and now we're ready for the last step. So this next step is to take strapping tape and go around each, uh, each direction. So for the hexagonal one, I will go around here, uh, back and forth and back and forth. Then I'll go uh, here, back and forth, back and forth, and then I'll go on the last side. And that'll provide me with uh, three layers. Uh, the trick on this is going to be to get this as tight as you can. Um, the tighter that you get it, the um, the more rebound you'll get and the more it'll feel like an, an actual Tyco head. Um, and um, the type of tape, I'm using a strapping tape. Uh, you can use any decently uh, decently strong tape. Um, I'd say some sort of packing and, or strapping tape is best. Um, and that also gives you a little bit of a, of a spring back to it. So. Uh, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so now we've gotten this finished um, and what you may or may not have noticed me doing in that sped up spot is that I was trying to keep one side of this where the tape went straight across so I would go straight across and then I on the other side I would angle it and I wanted the um, straight across part to be all on the same side and I think I managed to do that um, Anyway, that's the uh, finished product. And uh, if you want to, you can put some tape around here just to keep your ends from unraveling, but you know, that's, that's up to you.
With your square taiko, it's going to be exactly the same process. You're just going to keep wrapping it around until you've gotten the entire width, then flip it around and same thing the other direction. You do want two layers and that will help it, um, the, the cross hatching will help make it a little bit stronger. And there you have it. Have fun making your own two-by taiko.